So many of you may know by now that Verizon has released an over-the-air update which blocks the Loki hack. So the Loki hack is the hack that enables us to run a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project on our device that basically bypasses the lockdown bootloader and allows us to do things like flash mods and custom ROMs. So if you were into modifying your device like I am, uh, the biggest word of advice that I can give to you is just do not accept over-the-air updates on any of your devices because chances are Verizon or whatever carrier, they're going to block whatever hacks that we have. Uh, so if you got a bootloader unlock or you have a root on your device, they're pretty much going to patch that exploit up. I mean, that's kind of, you know, some hackers can get a hold of that and, and do some damage to devices. So we kind of, the patching of exploits in a way is good, but also they're just taking away uh, our right to do whatever we like to our phone. But there is good news. Beanstown has created Ruta version with the Loki hack enabled on the stock over the air build. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to flash today. So what you'll need to do is head to the link in the description and grab the rooted over the air update. If you head to the link in the description, you'll be able to find that ROM. It's the VRU AMDK update that's been pre rooted with the Loki hack included. So what we want to do now is just go ahead and boot into recovery. Once we're in recovery, you'll be able to install this ROM just like you would any other, and this ROM can be installed over any firmware. Now, if, you've, if you have been unlucky enough to install that update, then for now you're kind of out of luck because there's currently not even a root method available. In fact, open one your eyes, open one your one eyes zero, the guy that's responsible for the root method on the Galaxy S4, has even started a thread for a bounty on either root or a and unlock bootloader but nothing's come out of that just yet hopefully there are some developers that are currently working on that but for now the latest over the air update is unrootable uh, so you really don't want to install that if you have installed that I'm sorry you're kind of out of luck for now so what we'll do is we'll go to wipe we're gonna wipe data cache and Dalvik cache swipe to wipe and when that's finished we'll go to install and we'll find our download folder if you've downloaded it directly to your device that's where it'll be and sorry the latest update is actually the me7 update and that's the one that we want to install so we'll go ahead and select that and make sure that that is what you're installing here and we'll go ahead and swipe to flash so the latest version is actually i545 vru ame7 and like i said that is the version that is not rootable So in order to install this, you will need to have the Loki enabled recovery. Team Win Recovery Project on the Galaxy S4 is Loki enabled. The easiest way to get that once you're rooted, you'll go to the Goo Manager application and install that from there. So because this is a stock update here, it's going to take a while. So just give it some time and as soon as it's finished, we can reboot into the system. Okay, so the whole process took about five minutes. Uh, when you are finished, you will reboot the system. Now, I had forgotten to mention that you probably want to back up your device. I normally don't back up just because I normally trust the developers, uh, the ones whose ROMs I install. If I don't trust the developer, I just don't even mess with the ROMs. Uh, but before you get started, you'll want to back up your device. That way, if you don't like this new update or whatever, you can always go back. The way you would do that is just simply click restore and then pick the ROM that you've just backed up. So we'll go ahead and reboot. So this is strictly the stock Verizon over the air VRUAME 7 update that has been rooted. So don't expect this to have any performance tweaks or mods or anything like that. Uh, it is strictly the over the air update that has been rooted. Okay, so now that we're booted up, we'll go ahead and go to settings, about phone, and you guys can see that we're running 4.2.2. The build number is VRUAME7. Big shout outs to Beanstown106 for providing us with this ROM pre root It's the only way that you're going to get on the latest version of Android for the Galaxy S4 on Verizon and maintain root. So real quickly, I'll show you guys that we are in fact rooted. We'll go into the root checker application and verify root. It's going to ask for super user as we'll go ahead and grant that request you guys can see there that we are in fact rooted it says congratulations this device has root access 
If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy S4 and other devices in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.